Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on, guys? It is your host, the one and only K Blocks here, and today I'm back with another video. So, in today's video, what I have for you guys is going to be another tips and tricks video for you guys. Where in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to drop a 10 plus high kill solo game in Fortnite Battle Royale Season 6. Because there are a lot of people that are struggling to get these wins, these easy dubs, and simply because of the fact that Epic Games is trying to add new items and new weapons into the game to give the more casual and bad players a chance to actually dominate in this game and just camp their cheeks off and be able to destroy some good players and they're trying to give them the advantage which i totally dislike and that's going to be a separate video but also you guys are looking to get your first win for those of you guys that don't have your first win already for Fortnite season 6 or there may be some some new player that is just new to Fortnite I'm gonna show you an in-depth guide on how to get a win Fortnite season 6 so I just wanted to quickly announce very quickly that I am going to be given a giveaway at 400 subs so if you want to be eligible to enter this giveaway of the grand prize of 1000 V bucks all you gotta do is number one be subscribed to my channel smash that like button Hit the notification bell to get notified when I stream or upload my next video. Also to leave a your gamer tag down below in the comment section because I'm going to be selecting one winner and many could enter, only one could win. Whether it's your PSN, Xbox, Epic Games, Steam, Battle.net, whatever you use, whatever platform, just write it down in the comment section and you'll be eligible to enter. So without further ado, let's just get on with the video. And Okay, so anyways, I thought I forgot something. So I'm going to land all the way at the end of the stop of the battle bus all the way. And I'm going to try to break the roof. Hopefully, I find the AR. Lucky enough, I found a, a burst AR. So immediately, what I do is I see this person drop and I start tagging the mess out of this guy. This guy got tagged once. And at this point, he's just going to try to run away and find some heals before I push him. So I'm trying to desperately find a shotgun. I don't find the shoddy in this house but I do find some ammo which is kind of nice and I start rearranging my inventory something that a lot of players I see don't do they don't arrange their inventory and then they end up pressing a wrong button and getting themselves killed because they don't take the time to organize their inventory so I see a zombie up ahead I don't know what the zombie is doing but then I try to locate this player because I end up losing this player so I hear a chest below me but then I get shot by a player so I don't want to peek my whole entire body so instead what i do is i play it smart i hit this guy with a 200 plus iq play and i start to utilize my right peeking angle to take quick peek shots unfortunately bloom was not on my side so he ends up tagging me for a critical shot and then also i'm lagging by the way and i hit him so what i do since i'm lagging and he tagged me for a critical shot I decide to play it safe and not risk it for just one kill the whole entire game and I try to get these band-aids off and I hear this guy so I don't know where this guy is so I drop down from the upper level all the way to the lower level just to play it extra safe so then this guy pops a porta fortress which means that if I try to ramp up to this guy he's just going to mow me mow me down pause and spray the crap out of me and so I end up dropping and dying to fall damage so what I do is I open the chest I find a porta rift lucky enough and this guy instead of looking above him to see who's ripped in upon him this guy is clueless and I end up just eliminating him guy was completely one shot gave me shield instead of playing it safe and heal this guy ended up saving the big pot pretty stupid of him because if I was him and I hear somebody riff all the way up on the sky. My first instinct would be to look up in the sky and see if somebody's going to riff. Or to see if, I, if I'm if i able to get tags on a person up on the sky. So Epic Games has a serious problem with shotguns. And as you can see, hit him for double eights. And then I place a wall and a ramp just to play it safe so this guy doesn't shoot me. He ends up shooting my structures. And then I end up eliminating this guy for a easy kill because the guy was completely just camping under the bills guy was clueless and i sent that guy back to the lobby so right here i'm farming and i'm making sure that my mats are all the way up because you never know if somebody 
pushes you because that's what season six has gone into for Fortnite. People just end up camping and they try to be the referee and mediate the the fight. And once you you do all the dirty work, they come and clean up the scraps, and that's exactly what people do. They that's what's called the third party meta. For those of you that don't know this or don't know what third partying is, it's basically when you referee a fight, like I just said, you wait for two people to scrap and then you end up cleaning the 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 players. So anyways, I'm trying to organize my inventory, check for any chests, be aware of my surroundings, and then I upgrade my my tack for a another rarity. So anyways, I hear a guy. I don't know where he is exactly. And I decide to ramp up on the, the roof. Play it's a little bit safe. Then I hear this guy. So I start tagging the, the crap out of him. Completely shredded and lasered this guy for all his shield. With like a triple burst I believe of a headshot. So this guy is trying to strafe and jump like a bunny. I don't know what this guy is doing. What are you doing? Like seriously. This guy is trying to edit or something because I see his blueprint out and he's not even building he's just jumping like a bunny but that guy was a complete bot and I was a bit careful because you never know any player can be a good player and for some reason somebody left a big pot so this guy ended up blessing me with some nice loot he gave me some mats he gave me a, a some I mean some shields pause and then at this point I drink the big pot and then I'm trying to scout for more chests for some more people to see if there's any more chests. Some more loot like floor loot, weapons, shields, healables. And then I speed up the video a tiny bit because it is kind of boring. I see a med kit. I don't pick it up. I don't even know why. But then I spot this guy completely standing still. This guy gave me a free shot. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to convert for that headshot. So I immediately follow up with a double ramp, not reinforced. And then this guy is trying to play the heal game. That's why I'm not trying to reinforce my ramps because I'm just going to waste mats knowing that this guy is going to try to heal. So this guy boxes himself in, but he does it at a weird angle because of the fact that the hill is kind of angled. I replaced his wall with my wall. Then he ended up placing a trap and he was just pinched in a corner on his bills and he really couldn't move or do anything and he thought I was just gonna go in his builds but I, I didn't do that because I wasn't dumb enough and for some reason his loot was kind of in a bad angle and I wasn't able to pick it up all but then I go back in and try to revise his loot to see if there's any other stuff and right here I decided to go back because I heard somebody shoot around here but I don't I didn't see anybody at the edge of the storm so I decide to just go and start farming check these houses i don't think i i even went inside these houses i just simply farmed and that's exactly what you want to do you want to farm and keep your mats up because you never know at what time or what angle somebody could just come out of nowhere and just tag you so you always want to have mats season six still spray and pray and also now that they added the new turret the turret is just gonna spray like shred through through all your mats like you can have mats and if you don't destroy the person that uses the turret you're gonna end up getting like your cheeks clapped so this guy was fighting zombies and then for some reason this guy went afk or i don't know what this guy was doing he stood completely still gave me a free headshot absolutely clapped this guy's cheeks but anyways that was a nice snipe from me well, not nice because technically this guy was standing completely still. So anybody standing completely still is an easy snipe. But it was kind of nice for me to get that snipe. But this guy gave me some more shield and he also gave me a upgrade to my shotgun. I took the heavy ER because it has more range. And also the spread is tighter. More tighter than, than the pump. Which will allow me to hit easy headshots. And at this point... I'm rotating into the next safe zone and I'm also trying to scout and see if there's more players around my surroundings I spot this guy I don't take the snipe immediately because I want to assess the situation because this guy probably spotted me I end up trying to take the snipe barely hit that snipe barely I mean barely miss pause 
So then I decide to hit him and I quick peeked him because this guy was looking at me directly standing still with a sniper. So I, I end up getting the body shot. Unfortunately, didn't get the headshot. I start to get tagged by a silenced bow from, from my behind that direction. Then this guy, is, he starts to spray at me with a pumpkin launcher. And at this point, I spotted this guy. And then this guy is trying to hit me from my behind. So I block my sides and then I commit to only one fight. Because if I don't commit to one fight, the guy could just third party the fight. Because that's what exactly what this guy is going to do. So I find this guy trying to fight the zombie. It's pretty dumb of him. Pretty stupid. So I end up getting... Through like about two headshots and then I ended up getting the elimination guy got sent back to the lobby and then you guys are about to see the zombies are extremely annoying they don't allow you to heal they, they actually are third partiers as a matter of fact that's why I'm glad they took that out of the game but this is just the old gameplay that I wanted to showcase because I'm not able to win anymore because of, of various reasons and that's going to be a separate video that I'm going to make about the current state of Fortnite. But also, I do apologize for the lag in this gameplay. It's just that my graphics card doesn't have that much memory. And Fortnite takes about like 4 gigs of memory to be able to run everything in high settings. So, I'm going to upgrade my graphics card very soon. Probably around like January. I'm not really too sure. It's probably going to be like a RX 580 8GB edition. So then I spot this guy and, I, and I'm and i trying to get the snipe on him. I'm trying to get a shot, something. Because this guy was the guy that was trying to third party the fight. And you know damn well that when you mess with K-Boxer, your cheeks are bound to get clapped by K-Boxer 456. But this guy ended up running away from me. I don't know where this guy went. So I lost track of him. I hear some guy above the hill. No way, actually, I think I ramped up on the hill. And I was trying to check to see if there was somebody on the hill or take the high ground from him. So that way I could get a better angle on him. I ended up hearing this guy right now. So what I do is I try to take my sniper out. Unfortunately, it wasn't reloaded. So then I resorted to the pumpkin launcher and I ended up destroying this guy with just one shot so guy was doing i don't even know what and i end up eliminating him and luckily there there was great luckily there was glider redeployment pause to save me there because i would have took fall damage from the hill so this guy is trying to snipe me and i'm trying to pick up the guy's loot that i just killed the extra mats and at this point i try to snipe this guy missed so then I try to reinforce my ramps and start ramping towards him. And for some reason, the pumpkin launcher did not hit the guy. Like, the slow damage. I don't even know what just happened. But then I try to reload my pumpkin launcher. And then it hits him, finally. Then it doesn't hit him. Then it hits him. And he was just getting, like, third-partied by the zombies. And this guy did not even build a complete noob. Complete noob. People that don't build are noobs. They just try to play the low ground warrior play style. But anyways, at this point, I see a medkit. So I quickly box myself in. And I try to juggle both of the, the healables into the box. And then right after I do that, I pop the medkit. Then I make sure I reload all my weapons. Luckily, I'm in the safe zone. And nobody's shooting at me. So I'm going to make sure, like I said, I reload all my weapons. You always want to have your weapons reloaded after a fight. Because you never know if there's going to be somebody coming towards you and then they want to fight you. So at this point, I don't have too many mats. I don't have that many resources. And I see the circle is going to come in ar in around 10 seconds. And these zombies are starting to get on my nerves. They start, they're start, they going to start getting annoying. Well, they are annoying. But then I hear some fighting. And this is where I try to use the sniper to get a shot on some, um, one of them that are fighting the, the zombies and, and each other. But then I ended up missing. So then I start to single ramp towards them. And I don't know what was wrong with the RPGs. But for some reason, it wasn't hitting the player instead it hit the zombies and then this guy's just running in a straight line 
my sniper was not reloaded so I decided to just go to the AR and then these zombies start tagging me and then at this point I'm getting shot from two different angles so I decided to disengage because I don't want to get shot up I want to wait for them to fight and destroy each other and scrap so I'm basically gonna be the referee and third party this fight at this point I have about eight kills I try to take a snipe from long range I ended up missing once again and that's what you want to do so I'm letting them do the dirty work instead of me trying to get pinched and be the pigeon in the situation but anyways the storm is coming in I ended up wrecking this guy with a crazy snipe a headshot caught this guy in the mid air with a snipe and then for some reason I'm getting shot down from from the zombies and then it is a final 1v1 I know this guy is trying to spray at me so that's what he's gonna do this this kid is just a sprayer so what I'm making sure I do is I try to reload my pumpkin launcher and make sure that it's fully reloaded so I'm able to uh, destroy this guy because this guy seems like a good player and I don't want to mess up this guy and play around so he shoots a pumpkin launcher from I don't even know where and then this guy has a low ground and then right here I'm just clapping this guy's cheeks he's getting destroyed by the zombies and at this point I sprayed this guy GG ended up winning victory royale and this is how you want to play Fortnite season 6 you want to try to third party these fights you want to try to conserve your resources and you don't want to take fights that you know you're gonna lose but anyways i hit this guy with a jig this guy ended up losing gg but anyways i would like to thank you guys for watching this video basically thanks for watching everybody and stay tuned for more hello there ladies and gentlemen what is going on